And we are back. Nimrandir picking back up with his uh, run at Slay the Spire. So um, last video, I finished up Act 1, taking another crack, uh, trying to fin you know, make as much progress as I can with the Ironclad. Looking at the options I've got here, I think I'm going to start on this side because I kind of like the idea of there being a shop right after the first fight. And this is one of those, yeah... What is it? It's a, I think it's got debuff prevention, and it started with defense. So, let's see here. If I do rage... I don't think it's going to matter that much, but... Yeah. So that gets rid of one of the artifacts. And, eh. Go ahead and wear that down, I suppose. I was wondering if I could find a way to stack enough block that my body slam would, like, just shred the thing's defense. But I was... I was denied. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and shred the, uh... Use the shockwave to shred that. I've already got 14 block. But, I mean, I've already got the rage, so I might as well use it. Okay. And that's that turn. So. So now I'm frail, so my blocks are worth less. Hmm. Okay. So. Let's see here. I'm going to be taking 20 damage this turn. I'm going to try putting out Juggernaut. Yeah. It's not going to matter much, thanks to the fact that this thing is stacking a lot of, you know, it, it's still got the massive barricade, so that's unfortunate, but let's see. So, I want to go Berserk. So, do a Battle Trance and see what I can do, because now I can Rage. And it's doing 12 damage. I'm still frail. So, what if I weaken him? So now it's down to nine, and I've got five block. And I'm finally at his actual health bar. Okay, so he's going to get some defense back, and because of this thing's stupid... Okay. But it didn't get throughs of energy, and here's hoping I can finish this thing off. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, not much, unfortunately. So, and I'm frail forever, so, yeah. All right. Yeah, this is, I'm getting hit pretty hard here. I'm not a big fan, but let's see. He doesn't have any more defense, so just hit him with a twin strike and finish it off. Yeah, that could have gone better, but. Okay. So, get a potion for some regen. I can only have up to 10 cards in my hand. I also noticed a tip that actually suggested that, you know, you don't always need to take, you know, a card at each draw, like I had said about getting my deck too thick. So, hmm. Do I want another clothesline? I don't think I want another clothesline. Do I want this? Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass on this one. Okay. Let's see what the shop has for me. I have 200 gold, so, um, hmm. Dropkick. Okay. Deal 5 damage if the enemy has vulnerable. Gain an energy and draw a card. Okay. There's another copy of Rage, which is really nice. Um, I kind of like, I also kind of like Inflame. Let's let's take a look at the artifacts here. So I can't afford the Pantograph, which would be nice. Although, it, I guess it means you, it, 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 since at the start of a boss combat and there's always a rest in front of them, I guess you would use that so you could smith beforehand. Let's see, Bag of Preparation. The start of each combat, draw two additional cards. Membership card gives 50% discount on all products. So... <laughs> So I could buy this and then, like, I spend 148 on this and then I could get cards for cheaper. 
Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Kind of like the idea of inflame. <laughs> Getting some strength would be good. And actually, I kind of like dramatic entrance. I just now noticed that this thing's innate, so so I would always have dramatic entrance in my hand. Okay, so sure, have free eight damage all the time. All right. So let's get out of here now. Spent my money. I have a mystery ahead of me. What's the mystery? I duck into a small hut. Inside, I find what appears to be a forge. I've gotten this one before. But the smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire ro roars inside the furnace. I feel on edge. Um. Okay, I could, yeah. I didn't, I don't think I actually looked at the pain curse before, so any time the pain card is in my hand, I would lose a hit point every time I play another card. I'm just going to take an upgrade, thanks. Um. So let's see. If I upgrade that. T deal 12 damage to all enemies at the start of fights. Now, I have to admit, I do remember seeing that Body Slam is, you know, Body Slam goes to being free when you upgrade it, which is cool. Um, let me take a look. Juggernaut. Okay, Juggernaut doesn't really upgrade. I was hoping that upgrading Juggernaut would drop its cost down to one, but I'm guessing this just, yeah, goes up to three strength. I think I kind of like the idea of, yeah, just upgrading that guy. Just... <laughs> I can start each fight with 12 damage to everybody. That seems worthwhile. Um, hmm. So I got a fight and a mystery. A mystery and a mystery. Well, we'll do a fight. Let's see here. Oh, I have these cockatrice-looking things. Um, okay, well... Let's do a dramatic entrance. So, they all took six damage, so they have something that causes them to only take half damage, apparently. Alright. So, gone berserk. I'll battle trance. Let's see here. So, one of them is hitting me. <laughs> Bird with a Y. I kind of like that. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, something is straight making me weaker, and I'm not quite sure why. Hmm, okay. So, we'll just hit that guy for two damage. And I'm gonna be taking five damage. I've already built up the block, so. I'll just pop that guy with a weakened, and he's down, okay. I'm guessing it's the flight mechanic, whatever that is. And I'm out of energy, so. Okay. Rawr, rawr. He's beefed. Okay. This one's stunned because I did enough damage to knock him down, and they still didn't crack. Oh boy, that first guy's hitting really hard. Okay. So. Well, in that instance. He's gonna go ahead and weaken a lot of them. If I bash this guy. Oh well, he's still up. So, although I did get my, you know, <laughs> and zero times five. Okay. All right, well, so I'm going to rage. I'm going to rage again, and I'm going to defend, and... Gonna hit that guy. And my body slam takes him out. So, okay. I don't have any more cards in hand, so. Alright. And he gets beefy. Okay. Well, let's see here. So, let me inflame. Seems like the right move. Uh, hmm. Okay. He's gone. I'll defend. Alright. 
trying to figure out what I did to make, I guess, the weak? Yeah, I don't know. But the clothesline knocked him down for some reason. So let's, let's do a battle trance and draw some stuff here. So, rage. Lion wave. I'm just gonna punch the crap. I should I did that backwards. I should have done that. And and then this flight wears off somehow or another. He's just stunned and he's probably going down on my next turn. Here's hoping. We'll see. Oh yeah. Take this fool. Alright. So that heals me. Good. I was able to recover from the guardian problem. An iron wave plus. Ghostly armor is nice. Ten block. And I've got a way to channel that into damage. So I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go with ghostly armor. Alright, so now I have a mystery in front of me. Let's see what this is. The mystery is a shop. Doubt I'm gonna be able to afford much, but we'll take a look anyway. <laughs> Clash. Can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. Um Carnage has a truly disgusting picture on it, but um, 20 damage and ethereal. Uh, let's see. I got a lot of mileage out of Metallicize in my last game, but it doesn't feel like that's the way I'm playing here, so... Panache, anytime you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage on enemies. I'm not going to pull that off that often. Um... Yeah, I don't really think any of these are really worth including. I mean, I can only afford, like, a handful of them anyway. Maybe Metallicize. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick up the Metallicize. And that means I'll leave. Alright, so now I have the choice of a fight with an Elite, which we all know how well that last fight I had with Elites went. Or I can rest. And upgrade a card. Upgrade a card. Yeah, up. The potential for upgrading cards just seems too too strong at this point. So, as if I upgrade ghostly armor, it's thirteen block. Let's see. That upgrades to four. What about the clothesline? Fourteen damage and three weak. I'm debating. Debating getting my other twin strike upgraded. Or, I don't know, actually making Body Slam free seems good. Free attacks are always kind of nice. Particularly if I have that Juggernaut out, so I attack, or, you know, whatever it is, you know, rage, so I block. Yeah. Alright. Let's see how this looks. Oh, I have one of those cultist guys. Okay, so. Well, wow. Alright. So, I have many free cards. So. Let's see here. So. We'll do my dramatic entrance right away, I guess. Um, I should have, I probably should have inflamed first, but oh well. Let's see. Actually, it feels like that's maybe the right play. And then hit the chosen twice and call it a turn. Okay. So I'm going to take, like, 9 damage, which is a little unfortunate, but... But now I've got 4 energy. I can double rage. I have a ridiculous amount of block, <laughs> but... And I'm suffering... X is the one that does it adds a dazed card or something like that. Um, okay, well, I'll go ahead and use my ghostly armor. So now I've got a dazed going into the deck. Um, try, uh, let's see here. I'll weaken him. Then I'll hit him. Okay. So... I've been weakened. Okay, that's fair. And she's now strengthened, so that checks out. There's the dazed card. And pop a shockwave to 
make them both vulnerable. And I'll just try to tank up as best I can, because I'm taking a lot of damage this time. So, and it's after them being weakened, so. Okay. Oh yeah, and here it comes. Oh well. Yeah, I'm getting hurt pretty bad here with all these dazed cards, but... And I'm guessing I'm going to get weakened again, yeah. Okay. Alright. So... Got four energy, and... Okay. So... Hang on, let's see here. So one strike will finish him off. So if I bash her to weaken her... That's not enough. Yeah, so. so... I do need to strike him so he goes away. She has 36 health. So that's 26 damage. Try to absorb that. Okay. So, still taking 10. Doesn't look good. I'll probably actually be resting, resting at the next thing, but... Um, okay, so... So... Um, and it's not going to matter because she's dead. Alright. So, get a little gold. Yeah. 12 block whenever I'm attacked this turn. Deal 4 damage. That's expensive. I think I'm going to pass. So, so, yeah. Clearly not going after an elite when I'm down 25 health. So, let's just hit this guy up and take a nap. I... I don't think I noticed this. Did I get to a resting point on my... I, mean, I know I did with the defect, I guess, but that's weird. I, no I hadn't noticed that the flames looked different. So, anyway, yeah, we're taking a rest on this one. So, getting back up to as much as I want to upgrade. We'll have a chest. Don't skip the chest. The boot! Whenever I would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. I don't think that matters, but sure. I don't often deal that. I guess it would help if it's weak. You know, when when I run into stuff that weakens me. So I have one of those spore clouds. He has plated armor. So, let's see here. So I want to rage, because I'm going to be attacking. I want a battle trance, because that's just good. Let's see if I draw that, you know. Okay. All right. Now, a shockwave. Kind of. I should have done that earlier. Uh, oh well. I'll get this down eventually. Yeah. Okay. So. Broke his defense turn is over. I'm not taking any damage, which is good. <laughs> I love the animation on that one. Yeah, so the spore cloud's growing. Like you do. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and put out a metallicize for some more block. I'll deal with the... And... I did put out the metallicize so I can punch. Okay. Oh, he gets armor every turn. Okay, that's what the plated armor does. Alright, so... Alright. So, I don't take any actual damage, but I'm now frail, so my blocks are worth less. Let's see here. So, I can go Berserk. I can do Ghostly Armor to get 7 block. Got two energy left. I think making him weak. Oh no, duh. That's the one that. Yeah, no, that. Sh oh, I didn't get th through his armor. Okay. Is that the issue there? Eh. Okay. So no, I do absorb everything because of metallicize, which is good. Okay, cool. Alright. So, rage. Strike. Strike. 
I should I did this backwards again, but oh well. I'm gonna get down how to do this eventually. So. Alright. Slow and steady wins the race or something or another. Okay. So. Rage. Twin Strike. Which does more damage. That's. That's kind of what I was going for. And. I think that's. Oh, no. He's still. Oh, no. Metallicize will kill him, right? Because, yeah, that counts. Okay. That's pretty awesome. Alright. So. So I can get another Twin Strike. Hmm. I actually do... I do like Twin Strike. Let's let's put another Twin Strike in the deck. So I'm trying to be refined and not just take a card every time. A man with an eye patch and a devilish grin strides up to me. I've gotten this one before, too. Hey there, stranger. Interested in advancing science? I can make you stronger than any training or blessing. You're gonna need it if you're one of those heroes with a death wish. What do you say? For some reason, I imagine him talking like the Cesar Romero Joker. Um, yeah, that one was fun if I remember right, so I'll take that one again. Marvelous! I quaff the mysterious substance. Immediately, I'm invigorated and I feel my muscle fibers twitch. Can't remember what it does. What does it does? Start each combat with three strength, so I have three strength at the start of each. At the, at the start of each fight, that's right. Oops. So now I can rest again or I can explore a mystery. Let's upgrade a card. Upgrading cards is good. Um, okay. So let's see here. Got another Twin Strike or I can upgrade the other Rage. Actually, I kind of like, I don't know, one more strength is worth it. Let's upgrade another Twin Strike. That's kind of... Doing a lot of damage is kind of what I got going here. So it's my brand at this stage. Let's see. I have two fights, a mystery, and a fight. Let's do a mystery and a fight. The mystery is still a fight. He is malleable. Okay. So let's see here. So... All right. So I don't have anything beefing my strength this time. And I'm going to be able to use all of these cards, right? So, okay. So, Fly and Wave. That gave him some block. Um, I'll Dramatic Entrance. He gets some more block. Strike him. He gets a little more block. I defend. And then I Body Slam. And he gets some more block. But he's halfway down. Okay. All right. So my spores, I'm frail and weakened. Okay. Now I've got my big. Yeah. So let's see here. So. Um. All right. So at the moment, he's going to be dealing twenty-one damage to me. Actually, this is kind of funny. Doesn't the twin strike? Okay, so... If I do that. That gives me some defense. If I defend. Then twin strike. Okay. So I'm only taking one point of damage. Okay. Alright, so now... Want to rage? Want to battle trance? Like you do. Let's see here. So, so now if I hang on, I don't want to close line. I want to do a bunch of little attacks. Okay. And now I don't know. Maybe if I do that. Yeah, weaken him a bit. I'm still going to be taking some damage this round, but... But only six, so... Okay. 
So now I get the Berserk, which is great on a turn when he is not attempting to damage me. Um, so I'll use that just so it doesn't go away. Twin Strike. Regular Strike, it doesn't matter. Okay. So hopefully he's going down this next turn. I think he should be going down this next turn. So, let's see here. So if I rage... And flame. A little battle trance. Wow, okay. Yeah, and I got him with a twin strike. I was like, well, am I going to draw an attack that's not my body slam? Um, another twin strike. Or dual wield. Hmm. As much as I like my twin strikes, I don't want to load up too much more, I don't think. Eh, who cares? I'll take it. Okay. So, so now I've got one more fight, and I'm fully healed between me and the um, end game bonfire here, so that's promising. It's this pair again. Oh dear heavens. Okay. Alright, well, I'll go ahead. I hate doing it, but, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so... Dramatic Entrance hits them both. I can Body Slam... Her, and good, she's gone right away. Fantastic. Okay. So none of that goofy healing stuff from previous runs. She's gone in one round. Alright. So now, I can go Berserk. Because I don't think he's going to be able to hurt me. I do that. He's only doing 11 damage, so I can... Eh, it didn't matter, but I didn't break his defense, nor did... Nor is he breaking mine. But he's weakened. <laughs> he's weakened, uh... Vulnerable. So... Alright. Twin strike him. I do Juggernaut. Absorb a little of that damage. While dishing a bit back out. Okay. Okay. So, now... He's weakened. I got block. I have two energy left. How much health does he have? I think this is going to be enough to finish him. Yeah. Okay. So, Warcry. Uppercut! Um, I'd seen this card in the compendium and saw, like, the fire, so I'm disappointed that Uppercut is not, in fact, you know, late titled Shoryuken. You know. But, hmm. Okay. I don't know. Headbutt seems interesting. I kind of like head. I kind of like the thought of headbutt. If I can go get a rage or something in a crucial moment. So let's see here. I don't need to rest. That's the good sign. So I can upgrade a card again. So what's worth upgrading here? Looking to see if headbutt was free. That was my first thought. Is if is headbutt free? But hmm. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe doing that. Let's try beefing in flame here. Okay. So now I've not made it to this. I don't recognize this. I don't think this is the same guy I fought before, is it? No, this is like a Dullahan without the horse. Um, okay. I don't know what he's doing this turn. That's never fun. So... Let's go ahead and pop my ghostly armor while I'm thinking about it. He has three artifacts, so... I'll t do a dramatic entrance on him. I, he's got those artifact things, so I do need to soak away some stuff. Okay. He summoned minions. Oh, jeez. Not one of these. Okay. Uh... Okay. So, so I'm I'm done. I did my juggernaut and can't get through to me. I'm gonna get debuffed all the crap. 
He just, that thing just ate my freaking Berserk card. And my, ate my good cards. Oh, jeez. Okay. So. Alright, so. Let's see what I can do here. So. Alright. So. Okay. So I only have one energy left. I've got a ton of block. So. Okay. And I can body slam. Take him out. Does that get my card back? Sweet! Okay. I'll go berserk. Alright. Getting berserk was... Losing my berserk card was huge there. And flame is unfortunate. But, but yeah. Okay. So now... Rage. Metallicize. Clothesline him, he's weak. Okay. He's negated because of the artifact. Yeah, that's right. Um, and... If I defend... Okay. So I'm taking like seven damage. Oh, he's tank... Okay, the orb is tanking up the Dullahan. Okay. So... So, let me see here. Smack this thing. Oh, I didn't have anything in my discard pile. Oh, well. Um, let's see. Eight damage all day. So... Okay. And if I just defend... Yeah, of course, of, of course the random attacks of my Juggernaut both, you know, went to, went to the guy with all the armor. Okay. Alright. Okay. So he is, fortunately, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to use the get my inflame card back. And... Okay. 51 damage! Shucks, howdy, that thing is beeping. Okay. Alright. Let's see here. Do I have a potion I can use here? Yeah. Oh, let me drink that, because I'm going to get hit like a truck on this one. Okay. Hyper Beam. He's a Pokemon. Okay. Alright. see here. Okay, I can go nuts on him this turn. So, let me drink my flex potion. And bash him. Twin strike him. And regular strike him. And... Okay, so... He's stunned. Oh, hyper... Okay, the hyper beam stunned him. Alright, so... I rage. I rage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just an ironclad in a cage. Um... So... I weaken him down. Strike him. He gets hit again. I defend. That's everything. Okay. It's a shame the rages didn't stack up as, like, two separate, you know additions, but oh well. Let's see. A battle trance. Let's see if I get anything. <laughs> I guess I get my battle trance back, but let's see. Yeah, I want to make sure he stays vulnerable. That feels like the the key to not losing here. So, so 18 damage, and I can get Sure, I'll get that back and put it on top of my deck. It turns over. He's beefing. Okay. Alright. So, he's super duper strong. But that's okay. So, I'll rage. I think I've got this one now. So, 
so he's got five health left. Yeah, guess what? Just like, you remember that last boss? Yeah, I'm just body slamming him into oblivion, taking out this Dullahan thing. The automaton, apparently. So, okay. So I made it. Demon form. At the start of my turn, gain two strength. That, that is extremely powerful if you're able to pull it off, because that would just keep triggering, right? So your strength just keeps climbing. That seems tempting. I'm, you know, bang, 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 you know, pull my double trigger. Um, okay, so, and I have a chest. Don't skip the chest. Whenever I lose HP, draw a card. Yeah. Gain energy at the start of my turn. I can no longer smith. Gain energy. At the start of my turn. At the start of combat, shuffle two wounds. I don't... No longer being able to upgrade seems like a problem, but built-in energy is also really good. I'm... I'm gonna gamble on the fusion hammer. I may regret that, but... So, so the Ironclad is uh, going to be making his way into the third level, where I got with the defect last time, which is kind of exciting. Let's see where this takes us. The Beyond. That's right. I, I knew this, right? I've been here. So, we've reached the end of another act. The Ironclad is charging his way up to the top question mark of the Spire. Um, Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. Once again, feel free to check out the uh, rest of the uh, Nimrandir Play Slay the Spire series to see the other runs that have gotten us to this point. We will catch you next time.